those of you who are wondering about the orchata I was having uh, during uh, Delta Rune episode one, <laughs> good news! Uh, I watered it down a little bit, and it's fine now. Anyway, welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. In the last episode, uh, we found another Time Gear. Uh, Mesprit was guarding it. Uh, we finally uh, found Ben for the. F we uh, finally encountered Ben for the first time in person. And uh, <clears throat> off in fanfic land, Ben would try to get. Uh, ben had a uh, rescued Dan. Uh, ben had rescued. Daniel from being intercepted by Team Olympia. Uh, he, t he would take the time gear with him, and uh, Malleus and the, and the guild would just be at a loss. Ben would then try to get Daniel to remember him and tell him that they're brothers and explain a, a little bit of his quest off screen, why he is going after the time gear. Uh, the thing the readers would get to hear is that Malleus is one of Ganon's subordinates back home, and he is not to be trusted. They would head for the final time gear together, which, uh, as we saw at the end of the last episode, is at the Crystal Cave. I think we can assume that Malleus uh, already knows this. For reasons that uh, we have yet to explain in game. In any case, we have no time for these, uh, these mission type objects. We must, uh, yeah, we need to prepare. First step in that, uh, open up these boxes and see what's in them. It's alright, Evan. Let's check on our egg. Not quite yet. Whoops! Didn't mean to check it again. Alright, let's replace Vacuum Cut with the uh, smoke screen. <coughs> Alright, this fortunately is free. Moving on. It's Timmy and Tommy! How are you guys doing? <laughs> Teddy card, a card for Teddy Ursa. Magmar Claw. Don't we already have one of those? Why not card? I know we have another why not item lying around. <coughs> Treak Thorn. Oh, that would be impressive if we ever managed to uh, recruit Ben. <laughs> Okay. Sure. Blue gummy. You can use that. Alright, let's, uh, let's work on our inventorying a little bit. We don't need the desert sash uh, right now.
Let's see. Uh, silver spikes can be put away for now. Let's take out a couple more reviver seeds. This should be plenty. Sort them real quick. And head on over to the cafe. And I'll be giving this to Daniel, of course. Also trade uh, some of our grimy food for a cleanse orb. Is this a new offer or is this an old offer? It's an old offer. Cool. And uh, trade for a prize ticket, I guess. Not the offer. Substitute, huh? Hmm. Move afflicted move afflicts the target enemy with the decoy status condition. That's n that could be handy in a monster house, but uh, it's not especially useful to us, so I think I'm going to sell it. and we uh, don't really need to cleanse them for anything either. Sort the storage just to be uh, nice and tidy, and now we can go! So let's go. Let's pick our killer axe and kill. Yeah, we can take Cacnea with us, why not? Crystal Cave! Yeah, it is a race to the final time gear. Let's go as deep as we can. It's Graveler! A rock ground type, the evolved form of Geodude. I 
attack you with pieces of your children. <laughs> that might be a little too edgy even for uh, Tales of Xenia. I don't know. Nope. Hello. Sleep trap. Yeah, not very, not very effective, but what you gonna do, really? <coughs> You're just asking us to use special moves on me, buddy. You really are. Oops, Survivor! Pure poison type. Uh, Rap is just like it was in Gen 1. It keeps the, uh... Other Pokemon from moving altogether. Kind of a pain. Honestly, I don't like having to use embers on these guys, but it's like they resist both of my the attack types that I have. So what am I gonna do, really? Better to use a special attack on them than a physical, too. So, Scratch will have to be saved for some other guys. Ooh, Silver Gummy. Those are for Steel types. <coughs> I just realized I did not check to see uh, how deep this dungeon is. Oh well, it'll be a surprise. Beldum is a steel psychic type, uh, the first form of a, of a third generation pseudo legendary. I chuck at you, and you are Chuck. Or not Charlie, because this is not Super Mario World, nor is it Captain Bible. <laughs> set change. Very pretty. Although a uh, graveler here kind of blends in with the floor. <laughs> oh no, my defense went down. That's bad. Yes, thank you for doing a thing, Ava. Cacnea leveled up. Pretty cool. We got here a royal gummy. Cool. Buck levels up, 23. I find it funny that Cacnea is their highest level of the... Ooh, ouch. Okay, self-destruct does not uh, damage the user as much as I uh, thought. I thought it was a one-hit kill on the user, even in Mystery Dungeon. Probably doesn't make too much sense, though, if you really put a whole bunch of thought into it. Ooh, pure seed. And Beldum wants to join the party. Cool. Uh, yeah, we'll send Beldum back. Yeah. Abram leveled up. Sweet. Yeah, pure seed again, it warps us straight to the stairs. Good to have in case of emergencies, or if we just want to clear a really annoying floor. So far though, these floors have been anything but annoying. Uh, Cranidos, a 
rock type, I think. And my sister is leaving. Karenados knows a psychic type physical move uh, called Zen Headbutt. May have, uh, may have heard it already. Assurance is a dark type move that, uh, let me think. In the main series, it does extra damage if the Pokemon has, if the target has already taken damage on that turn. <coughs> so, you know, I guess good for double battles and stuff. I'm not sh quite sure what its effects include here. Shield on, another rock type. Maybe. Or maybe rock and steel. I, I don't know. Future me, you are going to have to look up all these Pokemon types, because I do not... Ooh, Reflect. Actually, wait. Reflect is just a defense buff, but I'm thinking of Counter. Or even better, Pursue. Yeah, I'm thinking he might be Rock and Steel type. Via Seed. Causes the user to say, See ya, and warp elsewhere on the floor. Still, uh, actually very useful. So, uh, we are going to disregard the fact that it is a look-alike and maybe use it on somebody who's annoying. Daniel was taunted. Yeah, well, your mother was a hamster. Worm Adam, the ground type Worm Adam. See ya. Yeah, Worm Adam has uh, three different forms, each with a uh, different secondary type, along with Bug. <coughs> the brown ones are Bug and Ground. Oh, really? Well, lucky for me, I have items. Aha. Ooh, nice shot, Abram. Let's go. Here's a thing. Crystal Cave Depths. There's a midpoint here. Here we didn't see anything out of the ordinary. So I think these three crystals are clues, Daniel. He must be keeping a secret. It makes sense. I feel the same way. On a journey to Fogbound Lake where he met Yuxi, there was a puzzle. Groudon's right stone statue held the secret. Then on the way to the underground lake where we met Mesprit, we had to prove our courage. This place leads to Azos Lake? Should be like those other two places. There should also be a secret here. Whoa, this crystal changes color when you touch it. This crystal changes color when you touch it too. This might have something to do with solving this place's secret. Try touching them for yourself, Daniel. Color does change when I touch it. And it can change into a variety of colors. Three crystals changing colors. What could this all mean? It's the Triforce! <laughs> I don't know. Okay, another vision. Let's see. Of the three spiritual elements of knowledge, emotion, and willpower, Azelf is the being of willpower. Willpower is the motivation that drives us, it's the unifying power. To unify is to make one, so. If the colors of the crystals were made one, the past should reveal itself. What is the color of Azelf's spirit? That is a question. Azelf lives at Crystal Lake, then Azelf's spirit must be affected by the crystals. 
I didn't get any of that, but uh, according to DC Comics, the color of willpower is green. Why did I hear only a voice then and now? Thank you for uh, being redundant there, Daniel. Color of willpower. It must mean the color of Azel's spirit. As clear as crystal, or the color of cold water. So yeah, the answer is not green. It is blue, because Azel is blue. Uh, let me think. I can check my store. What can I check my storage? Let's take out a reviver seed and a cross eye seed. That should be good. There we go. Whoa! A tremor! It's dangerous, Daniel. Let's back off. We unveiled a new shrine! Wow, what is this? There's a big jagged opening in the middle. Do you think we should go through there? Maybe that leads to Azov's Lake. Those three crystals were the key, Daniel. They opened a path that may lead to a time gear. Let's go, Daniel. Onward to Azov's Lake. <coughs> Power band, okay. Sky Gummy! <laughs> That's her flying types. Uh, Cranidos. Another rock type. Or er, no, it's Bagon. That's not Cranidos. Bagon is a dragon type. Another pseudo legendary line from the. Ooh. Finally got Fire Fang. It's stronger than Ember, but uh, we could probably. Yeah, I think we should hold on to our. Uh... I think we should. Actually, no. If we have Swords Dance, then I am probably going to want Fire Fang instead of Ember. Plus, it has a uh, it has a flint chance, so that's pretty good. go. Crystal Crossing. It's a Floatzel. Floatzel is a water type Pokemon. Uh, of course we are evidently not. Oh, there's the stairs. And a warp trap. That's just wonderful. Where am I? I'm over here. Oh dear. Cacnea, you better not do anything stupid. Wow, that pin missile is inaccurate. Oh, yeah. Okay, Cacnea, we are sending you home. Hey there, Abram. Hey there, Buck. Hey there, Floatzel. I wreck your face. 
Take that. There goes Buck. <laughs> what a doof. Another float soul. And see, that's the only problem with uh, not having any special moves. Uh, there are a lot of Pokemon out there, but no pursuit. <clears throat> Gotta be ready to deal with them. It's a grass type worm at him. Chomp. Level 24, baby. Chomp. <laughs> He's the mightiest, bitiest Charmander ever. That's me. I have been bamboozled by color palettes! Ah! Alright, switch your ore, that's not too handy. Dragon types resist fire, so uh, time to use our other physical move. <coughs> Ooh, light box, nice. The Stamina Band! So sweet. Check uh, Abram's moves. Yeah, okay, that's good. Here, you deal with him, Abram. I will give you emotional support and also rocky support. Oh, it's a good thing you knocked him out. Would not have wanted to see a 48 dan- Glalie is a pure ice type. Which means you are dead. Ooh, another Shockwave TM. Cool. Not that we really need more than one. <laughs> this is going to get sold. Glam Meow, a normal type Pokemon. It's a kitty with a big tail. You are not very good at this buck. Keep taking way too many hits. That's uh it's problematic. I got plenty of cash. And uh, some stuff I do want to offload, so let's swap this for our uh, TM here. What else can I get rid of? Switch your orb. Works for me. 280 for the TM, 1600 for the gummies. Very nice. those lattice types of rooms, huh? It's a minor pain. Speaking of minor pain, I might have been sitting down for a little too long, I don't know. 
Absol! Absol is a dark type Pokemon. That really likes physical attacks, and uh. I think that was. Pr yeah, I think that's pressure. It uh, doubles enemy PP usage. Thunderbolt! Heck yeah! It's like Thundershock, but stronger. Blast Seed, huh? Yeah, that's not all that important. We are running out of belly pretty quickly there, but I think we're almost at the bottom, so... There's a little point eating our apple right now. It's the palette of the water that's changing, not the walls. Eh, uh, wasn't quite sure. Rude! It's a kitty, 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 kitty. We got a kitty, it's all about the kitty. Blast seed on? I don't. Alright. I throw sticks at you! Ha 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 ha! Oh dear. That could be a problem. Absol has a pretty high special attack. Or physical attack, rather. Let's just uh, finish you off with a scratch. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, that is absolutely a thing that happened. about time to eat an apple. The stairs aren't like right in here in this room. Petrify. Yeah, I will take that. Cool. Of course, this is like the very bottom of the dungeon anyway, so uh, maybe there is not much of a point there. Uh-oh, Razor Wind, huh? You missed! How dare you. Sleep. Oh, okay. Sure. I guess I'll take that. And Buck leveled up. Ooh, new move. What's the new move? Yawn. Uh, tactically useful against bosses, but... I don't know. <coughs> oh, it's a blast seed. Okay, we weren't at the very bottom. This might be the last floor. White gummy. Very nice. Let's see what we can uh, switch out. Dive TM, cool. Hmm, you're making this kind of hard game. I guess we'll get rid of the sticks. And then... Eat this. And just head straight for the stairs.
That is how we do this. Welcome to Crystal Lake. It is very likely where Azov lives. There's a time gear. Oh! There's uh, somebody on that island over there. Well, it's the peninsula, I guess. We caught up with Ben! Is, this is what I saw in my vision during that Chekhov lens. The vision I saw then. It was an event in the future after all. There's kind of uh, something more important to deal with right now. It is Azov's in trouble. Let's go help. Hurry. Now, suck down there. That is the time gear, isn't it? Fine. Azov, wasn't it? I must apologize, but I must take that time gear. Ugh. Wait. Hold it. Benjamin. You know my name? Benjamin the Thief. I heard it from Yuxi and Mesprit that you were coming. It would have been better if I just knocked you out directly, but I also thought that I could possibly lose, so I set up a failsafe system. What? What'd you do? What? Tremors! Earthbending! This... The lake is covered in crystals. There's no way of getting at the time gear. Benjamin, the time gear. You'll never get it now. Even in exchange for my life. You'll never... You! I mean to have it, and I will get it. I need the time gear. Even if it means killing you. Stop! You're not stealing another time gear. I have no quarrel with you. Out of the way. No, I won't move. Are you serious? And if you won't stand aside, you leave me with no choice. I'll knock you out first. Just try to stop me. I, Garland, will knock you all down. Alright, we are up against Benjamin. First up. Swords Dance! And then, Cross-Eye Seed! And now he is pretty much helpless. The move failed! Oh, it's because, uh, this is like a, a, yeah. I was trying to bite around the corner and that doesn't work with Fire Fang, okay. Ugh. Get out of the way! I can't talk. I won't step aside. You refuse? Then you leave me no choice. Ingram's a serious troll, but... I can't move. This is all for the time gear. Forgive me. Stop! So, yeah. They don't defeat Malleus this time. Uh, Malleus would defeat both Ben and Daniel, and they would be captured. Please, let me handle this. Ugh. You! It's been too long. It wasn't easy finding you, Benjamin. What was that? The great Malleus knows Benjamin? Gah. Even here. You chase me even here. You're tenacious, all right. You cling to me beyond expectation. Benjamin Nikolai. You're not getting away this time. Malleus. I'm surprised to see you in this world. But I'm ready. So you'll fight. And so be it. But can you win against me? 
He vanished? <sighs> Blasted Grovile. He never intended to fight me at all. There's no escaping me. Great Malleus vanished too? What just happened? I don't understand. I'm trying to move, but I can't. Eek! There! There they are! Hey, hey, come on, hurry! Oh golly, they're down! Hey, hey, are you alright? They're badly hurt. Hurry, we need to get them back to the guild for treatment. Alright. Oh, I guess uh, Benjamin got away after all. Oh, are you awake? Where? You're in your room at the guild. You were both hurt. You've been sleeping all this time. Are you alright, Daniel? Whew, am I glad to hear it. I remember passing out at Crystal Lake. Seems like I can speak again. Oh, what about Azelf? Is Azelf okay? He's fine. Abram, compared to you two, his injuries weren't that severe. He regained consciousness earlier. He's in the guild now. Oh, excellent. I'm glad you're okay too, Abram and Daniel. I should let the guild know you're awake. Everyone, they're awake! Really awesome! Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Ooh, I'm mighty glad. If anything would have happened to y'all, I... I... Ooh. You guys are getting so emotional about this. Oh, that's right. There's something I need to share with everyone. Hey, hey? What would that be? What? What did you say? You're saying the great D Malleus and Benjamin Nikolai, they may have known each other from before all this? Yes, it sounds that way when they were getting ready to fight. Well then, what became of Malleus? Well, Benjamin escaped. I think he went off in pursuit. What? The emergency siren? Uh, hey, Dale, what's the matter? It's an alert from Magnemite. I'm told it's an emergency call sent out by Officer Magnazone. Deputy Magnemite, please shout your message down to the sentry post. Please speak clearly. Can you hear me? This is about an important announcement from Officer Magnazone. Everyone, please gather at the main square in Treasure Town. You will have a major announcement to make to everyone. All Pokemon in the area have been called for this town meeting, not just those in the guild. That is all. We hope for your cooperation. Thank you. What's happening now? An important announcement? What might it be? Hey, hey, no point in wondering. Let's go get the answer. Chapter 13, Malleus's Secret. <coughs> so yeah, assuming Daniel and Ben got away after Crystal Lake, uh... This is where we would actually get to hear about uh, what Benjamin is actually up to and uh, why he is going after the Time Deer. We're going to be called. Something serious must be happening. Azelf! Yuxi, Mesprit! Are you alright? You're not hurt? Yep, I'm okay the time here? It's in Crystal Lake. It'll be safe there without your protection? Can't be stolen? Yep, it'll be safe for now. Time gear is protected by an encasing cover of crystals. Stealing it won't be easy. Hey, Malleus, sir. Ah, Abram and Daniel. You're safe. I am so relieved. Malleus, sir, I'm glad to see you're back, too. Thank you for saving us. So, can you tell me what happened? What happened to Grovile? What became of him? I gave chase, but he slipped away from me. There's a misnamed character count. Um, Mally, sir, back at Crystal Lake when you were fighting Benjamin, you and him seemed to know each other. What was... If I may interrupt, the Great Dustnar plans to explain what he knows. I gave him the wrong name again. That topic will be included. 
Now everyone gather around, please. Golly, I wonder what this doll could be about. Who knows? Don't ask me. Everyone is here. So, I'd like to get this meeting started. Our topic, the rash of time gear thefts. Several time gears have mm -hmm. been stolen by Benjamin Nikolai. In the regions where a time gear has been stolen, the flow of time has come to a standstill. This is a serious problem, as I am sure you can guess. Benjamin failed. Failed to steer a time gear. This one was protected. Wow. Isn't that something? And the hero who protected it was the mighty Azelf. And the hero who saved Azelf and chased off Benjamin. That would be the great Malleus right here. That's astounding. No wonder he's such a famous explorer. Officer Magnuson, I'm sorry to interrupt. Perhaps I should explain from here. Of course. Please take it from here. Everyone, while we should be happy that we protected a time gear this time, uh, the fact is Benjamin Nikolai remains at large. Therefore, we can afford to f we cannot afford to feel safe and secure. He'll most certainly make another attempt to steal the time gear. There is another matter that's tied to all of this. It's an extremely important matter that I must share with you. I would like to explain it to you now. First, earlier Abram asked me the following question. Did I know Benjamin before from before all this happened? Uh, that is correct. I do know him from before all this. What? What I'm about to say may be beyond your belief, but it also happens to be the truth. Furthermore, if what I'm about to reveal isn't stopped, calamity is certain. I therefore ask for your undivided attention. First, Benjamin Nikolai is... He's a Pokemon that came here from the future. Future? Dad, what does he mean by from the future? I think he means from a place where things are yet to... No, duh! Was something like that possible? Uh, yeah, I mean... Okay, when did the... When was the time machine written? I must know. Eighteen ninety five. They should know about all this. <laughs> in a hundred years from now, he will be a notorious criminal. He has a large bounty on his head. To avoid capture in the future, he fled, and in fleeing, he escaped to this, the world of the past. After arriving in this time, he plotted until he hit upon an utterly catastrophic plan. What is that? What was his plan? It was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. This is a dumb terminology and I do not like it. The planet's paralysis? Yes, if a planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When a time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. As many more are taken, time slows in an ever larger area. Eventually, the planet's flow slows down so much that it stops entirely. Ultimately, the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. If the planet is paralyzed, what happens to this world? In a world where the planet has become paralyzed... No winds blow. The day never comes. Neither spring nor summer ever comes. It's a world of unrelenting darkness. It would be no exaggeration to call it the complete ruin of the world. The world's ruin? Is that what happens if the time gears are taken away? The way time has been going out of control lately. <laughs> that too is caused by the thefts of the time gears. If the time gears continue to be stolen, this world will end in ruin. So that's what would happen. This is bad. We gotta do something. Hey, hey, I have a question. Uh, there's something I don't understand. Yes, what is it? I understand we got a big problem on our hands, but what I don't understand... Well, hey, it's about you, Mally, sir. Why do you know so much, Mally, sir? I mean, 
I know that the great Malleus is knowledgeable and wise, and sure, I really expect respect you and all, but how would you know the future, no matter how knowledgeable you are? Mm, that's true. Come to think... Ah, yes, what Albert said makes perfect sense. Under normal circumstances, it's true. There is no way that I should know these things. So, why do I know these things? It's because I, too, am a Pokemon from the future. Malleus is another Pokemon from the future? By gosh and golly! This is all so complicated, it's making my head spin. Yup, yup. My objective is to capture uh, Benjamin. It is for that reason that I came from the future. I needed to know as much as possible to ensure his capture. I therefore studied everything I could about the past while in the future. That is why I know so much about this world. Why didn't you say anything before? I'm sorry. I have felt terrible not saying anything. I'm sincerely sorry for not revealing my identity. I am full of contrition. But what if I had been open about my identity from the start? What would have happened if I had said that I was from the future? Who would have taken me seriously? Also, I needed to avoid alerting Benjamin to my presence. I decided that I could, should keep my identity hidden while I went about with my work. Yeah, it makes sense. But it is also a fact that I have been deceiving you. For keeping silent about my identity, I sincerely apologize. No, no, no! Please, don't apologize. You can't blame yourself. You had no choice. I concur. Malleus has done nothing wrong in my book. We should focus our anger on Benjamin. We must somehow capture him. Yeah! We're in deep trouble if we let him go on! We need to catch him before the world gets ruined. Malleus, sir, I'll be glad to help. Me too! By golly, me too! Hey, hey, count me in. We'll cooperate as well. I refuse to remain a victim. We won't let him steal another one. Everyone, thank you so much. We as Pokemon must all work as one to capture Benjamin and put an end to his calamitous plot. Yeah! Uh, Malleus, sir. In order to obtain the Time Gear from Crystal Lake, uh, he kno Benjamin knows that he has to defeat me. So if he's still after my Time Gear, he'll come after me. We could turn that against him. Mesprit, Azoth, and I could go to Crystal Lake. Then we can all spread rumors claiming we have gone to seal the Time Gear so it can never be taken. If we did that, you think it would provoke Benjamin to strike? Let's see. You're suggesting that we bait the trap. Yep. But that would mean exposing you to danger as the bait. I'd like nothing more! That means stopping Benjamin. We're ready to take that risk. Then I understand. Everyone, let me explain our plan. Please pay attention and do your part. First, I would like everyone to spread a rumor far and wide. Get the word out about Uxie, Mesprit, and Azov. Spread, your wor spread word that the tree has returned to Crystal Lake to seal the time gear away. Please spread the rumor as much as possible. I see. So you want word this to reach Benjamin's ears. That's correct, but he won't be convinced by rumor alone. That is why I must ask the trio to do something. I must ask him to actually go to Crystal Lake. I understand. Then when he shows up to find Azelf and the others, that's when we can catch him. I get it now! Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement! Arrest. Arrest. Hey, hey, I'm calling it. I want to be the one to catch Benjamin. No, it is my duty to catch criminals. I don't want to get outdone by the others. Let's do our best too, Daniel. I'm sorry, I'm grateful for your kind offers. But for the capture of Benjamin, I would prefer to work alone. What? Why? Benjamin Nikolai will be extremely wary. Even if he were to realize that Azoth and the other two have truly gone to Crystal Lake, he'll be cautious in the extreme. So if we were to lay a massive ambush for him at Crystal Lake, he'll undoubtedly notice the unusual number of Pokemon in the area. I'm afraid he'll not be lured out by Azelf and the others that way. So, I must apologize, and insist upon capturing Benjamin by myself. Oh, I get it. That's too bad. I'm terribly sorry, Abram. This time I hope to capture him without any mistakes. Please forgive my selfishness. That's how it stands, guild members. Up to now, we were capturing Benjamin. Yoon-ta! At least, that was the plan. This time, stay out of it. We'll provide support only as needed. Well, hey, hey. That's what it takes. We had no choice? 
Is that an acceptable plan, Guildmaster? Yep, yep. Thank you for conferring at. Uh, she stayed awake, thank goodness. Thank you for hearing me out, everyone. I realize I am asking a huge favor, but please do your part in our plan. And let's capture Benjamin using whatever means necessary. Yeah! And thus, Malleus and the trio of Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf set off for Crystal Cave. In the meantime, the other Pokemon busied themselves, spreading rumors that Azelf and the others were about to seal the time gear away. As for those Pokemon from the Wigglytuff Guild, that's the current situation. Until everything is resolved, we ask that you go about your regular duties. <laughs> yes, we would like you to spread the rumor as much as possible, but not so much that it would make Benjamin suspicious. Try to be natural. Go about your jobs in the usual manner, and when possible, spread the rumor. That is what we would like you to do for the next few days. That is all. Alright, everyone. Let's have another good day of work. Hooray! Okay. Tomorrow, we take jobs. Ooh, hello. The special episode, today's Oh My Gosh, has been unlocked. Cool beans. We got to play as Sunny. <laughs> That's going to be some exciting times. So yeah, let's do that next time. Bye-bye for now.